This is the energy vibration lazing for the Crave Sun Moon Horizon sign. The Cancer Sun Moon Horizon sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Oh, okay. You Cancers, let's see what's happening with you Cancers. It's going to be a good year for you Cancers, okay? Mm, got the energy of the moon, you Cancers. What's happening with you Cancers? okay this is a, um, a very positive year for you cancer so it depends on what you're looking for in this year um, depends on what you cancers are looking for this year it can be a very very good year okay so depends on what you're looking for in this year you cancers it could be because you're starting out the year um, with energy of the moon and the star okay so you can says the energy of the moon and then you will start so you have water air 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 so um, what this is saying for you cancers is that it can be good you just need to um, you know take what it is for you and leave what is not for you so we are going to be looking because it's, it's it's a water year so it's going to be good so for you cancers okay so we're going to be looking at the Cancer Sun Moon and Rising sign. So we're calling upon the angels and guides for the Cancer Sun Moon and Rising sign to show us what is coming out for the Cancers in 2019. We're at the end. We're at the Cancer. So let's see. Oh, the second period. It's going to be good. The second quarter of the year. It's going to be good, you Cancers, because what is coming up is that. The magician is here going into the third quarter. Um, that's going to be a little bit weird, a little bit spiritual. It's going to be happening for you guys in the third quarter. You get a lucky break in the month of October, but you have the energy of transformation in November. In December, you end the year on a positive note. And I think while you guys have ended the year in a positive note in December, it's because of um, the energy 1816 okay and that is 17 it's because um, why you have ended the year in a positive note is because um, your your um, the, the, the sign um, across from you the sign across from you what is that doing for you is that um, that is the Capricorn your opposite sign is the Capricorn and the Capricorns are coming in so in January you have the, the moon and uh, the Capricorns are really really coming in um, for you guys and this is going to be good okay so um, and the Capricorns are going to be helping you what is um, centralized in your reading it is the energy of the Sun so that is going to be good there are positive energy that is coming out but then you have the energy of strength and um, the hermit and then the eye princess so it's going to be very spiritual in the third period okay as we look at the fourth period we have the energy of the fountain so in the month of October you are going to be getting a very um, lucky break and what you're going to be receiving a lucky break in let's see what they're going to be receiving a lucky break in with your materialistic gain okay so you're going to be um, um, receiving a lucky break with your materialistic break and this is good okay so let's see another eight energies so it is the year of finding inner strength for you um, guys so it's a year of finding inner strength for um, you guys because and it's here already um, mm, the eye princess is also here so it is um, 
it is it is you know you're receiving a lucky break but um, what is transpiring is that um, this lucky break is a transition a transition is coming in for you Pisces and this is going to be good now this year you know there is a lot that is going on in this year you have the number eight energies that is going to be helping you which is the energy of inner strength or justice because the num this energy vibration deck uh, they 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 flip justice and inner strength so um, these are situation that you need to be understanding and that is going to be happening so you know you have to be aligned with the energies now as we look the energy of the moon comes up so some uh, dramatic secrets or something dramatic is going to be happening in the month of January um, the energy of the moon is bringing out uh, your enemies and letting you see who they are so in January um, this is going to be coming out some dramatic secrets I want to say to each and every person this is for your first time please like share these videos I love you cancers this is going to be a beautiful beautiful year for you guys there's going to be it is a year of transformation and this transformation you have to find inner strength to deal with it okay for the extended reading um, please connect with us on on demand uh, use the link below and it's going to be taking you um, to the page now the um, the year the year 2009 reading is um, um, uh, over an hour long and there is so many information that is going to be coming up now uh, in January um, you're going to be finding out where your enemy's secrets lies is going to be coming out February the energy is a new start so um, in February you're going to be um, reconnecting um, this could be it or your um, spirit guides um, the I the I princess is going to be uh, using the, your spirit guides to help you to align yourself uh, with a new start the energy of the tower comes down in March so something abruptly leave your life and something and it's going to be replaced by something very very positive because you have the energy of the wheel of fortune that is bringing this in so this is good now um, in the month of April you have in a uh, um, justice in the month of April and um, it's just as someone has been watching you secretly watching you uh, we are going to be looking to find out who is this person but someone has been secretly watching you cancers whatever it is you guys have gotten yourself in some situation and someone is secretly watching you I think you're under you are under observant you cancer okay month of May um, positive uh, month of May something is going to be transforming in your life and the energy of the Sun is coming out and you have a little luck with this ending that is coming in this transformation so you have here Sun and be grateful that the Sun is in the middle of the year supporting you because it's crowned in the year so a lot of people are going to be having these successful miraculous things happening to them in the month of June um, is the energy of um, balance in the month of June and you're going to learn to balance the ego and the shadow side of who you are okay because you need to do that you need to do that now we are looking at the third quarter. The third quarter, we begin with a fire energy, and we have twice water, water. So in the third quarter, um, your psychic or your communication with the unseen world is going to be very, very high because they're going to be awakening you and enlightening you to something. Okay, so the spirit world is wants to show you something and let you be aware of something. Now this energy of the strength, whatever the energy of the strength is, this energy of the strength is coming in and um, you are dealing with the strength in the month of July it is going to be good because the Sun the general energy of the Sun is going to shed light and give you the um, um, the high vibration to move forward and this is good in a month of August you have the energy of a new start and you have the energy of the hermit now the hermit is going to be shedding light on this new start for you what direction to go and this is going to be good 
okay what direction to go and this is going to be good then in the month of September is the month of uh, um, the star and this is good because you have the energy of the eye princess so these are spirit guides in the month of uh, August and September that is going to be working with you to show you and um, to guide you on this new start to let you see what is good and how you are going to be dealing with this moving forward and this is in a very very positive way okay now what we have here is that the energy of October is the energy of the tower something is going to be leaving your life that was blocking you from receiving the love um, nurturing and the, your financial stability and it is finally going to be released from your life and you're going to be happy so you're going to be um, materialistic successful in the month of October now November is the change of guard with the lower energies it could be you or your shadow side is going to be leaving you if it's you if not what is going to be happening is that there's a transformation is coming in your life accept what is leaving and take what you have received okay do not push against the flow of your life in the month of November just accept what it is if you're in a relationship the person said I no longer want to be with you accept that and then you know ask the universe to help you to end this relationship so you can move forward now the opposite side of you is the Capricorns and they're helping you because um, the Capricorns are having their birthday in the second week of December and they're helping you to end something because obviously in November something is going to be handed and a new start is going to be coming up for the Capric the Capricorns are going to be giving you this new start in the month of December so this is good and this is positive so whatever that was happening in your life um, this world this year is a spiritual year for you guys the moon is here hermit is here and I princess is here okay and the moon and the I princess is facing each other you guys are very highly you can feel things okay you work with the intuition you work with the unseen you're always quiet so you're all your guided angels are always bringing in information you can see what is happening okay your intuition is going to be top speed very high and you're seeing this um, as we look at the energy who the fool um, in February what is going to be transpiring is that the hermit is here guiding you on this new part okay the hermit is going to be coming in in February guiding you on this new part and making sure that you make the right decision as we look at the energy in March the tower is here and strength the tower is something is going to dramatically release out of your life in March and you have to find in a strength to deal with that situation now what else is happening the energy of the magician and the devil now the energy of the magician and the devil what this is saying is that someone some uh, I wouldn't say yeah someone is someone is watching you someone is holding you someone is watching you okay okay it could be someone is watching you and seeing your move someone is uh, you know this uh, when we go to the extended reading we're going to be seeing what is happening but the energy of uh, um, people wants to see uh, your prosperity or people are watching you to see what sort the move you're going to be making okay the Sun is here so whatever it needs to die and leave your life whatever needs to move out of your life you're gonna be successful um, letting it go and move forward okay alrighty what is happening for because we we're using the animal spirit guides the energy of the animal spirit guides we are using the energy of the animal spirit guides what is happening with the, uh, the first six months for the cancers so, so um, for you cancers in the first six months this energy comes up it's a water energy so it's going to be helping you guys you are water also and what this does is that it's going to guide you you're going to take on the energy of this animal and take on the energy of them and just behave like they do okay just take it easy in the first six months just just you know take it easy in the first six months don't get into any don't you know don't get in any stuff 
just take it easy in the first six months of this year okay there is a lot that is going to be um, going on just take it really easy in the first six months of this year whatever the situation is whatever that is happening whatever that is um, you know it's gonna be good okay all right we have the energy of the deer that comes up this is an earth energy that is going to be supporting you cancers so you know when I look at this year for you cancers there's a lot that is happening and the energy of the heart signs are helping you can you cancers the energy of the the heart signs are helping you cancers because you can see this coming up in the second half of the year now what is transpiring and what is happening is that the energy of the world um, something is coming to an end but you are going to be having um, the spirit guides are going to be coming in to release you from this um, ego based situation that has been happening in your life okay because as you look the energy of the hermit and the eye princess is here the hermit and the eye princess is definitely it's your spirit guides that is awakening you and aligning you in the month of August and September now it could be that you're on vacation in August and September with your uh, and what is going to be happening is that you're going to be realizing something and um, you know you're going to be really realizing something about this relationship or whatever it is and you're going to be um, looking for something else because um, it's all about your materialistic gains you can just just wants to have it all nothing is wrong with that but um, this year is going to be teaching you something that there are decisions um, that you have made there are situations and things decisions that you have made that should have not have done okay it was not the right thing to do it's, it's as if you made a decision in 2018 that was the wrong decision okay whatever it was and whatever that was transpiring whatever it was and whatever that was transpiring in your life in 2018 you have done something uh, who is accessing really oh no um, so whatever that was done in your life or whatever decision you made whatever decision you made in your life you're realizing now that it was not the right decision okay um, so some of you is going to be realizing that you have made some decision in your life that was the right decision so what you're going to be basically doing is um, basically um, you know trying to rethink what it is and how it is you can deal with these situation because obviously um you have made some decision that wasn't one of the most promising decision um it was decision that was you did something that was out of ego and now you mess yourself up basically in 2018 okay um because you you make some decision out of uh, ego out of the ego okay so it's as if you had a conversation with someone or you tried to pull a fast one somebody find it out in time and it's uh, as, as if yeah somebody find it out in time okay you try to pull a fast one on someone and someone basically find it out um, uh, uh, and and um, now you know you're kind of sorry that you did it but it's, it's, it's as if too late too late you know you you know that is it don't make fast action and what you did was out of uh, um, what you basically did in 2008 was it was out of oh so you know I I am capable of doing anything and you know you're not going to be walking over me and I think he did something to someone and it was the wrong thing you did because you're not aware of it um, because of what you did to someone 
um, it's 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 catching back up on you and you and you know a lot of you are saying yeah what is she saying what is she saying but try and remember what you have done last year okay you got in a conversation with someone and you did something against the person and this is coming back to bite you because people saw that what you did to the person wasn't true and they start to look at you now okay and because of what you did and what you did to the person is basically because you wanted to get out of something and you used that person to get out of a relationship okay you basically used that person to get out of a relationship and now there are people who are looking at you because they're realizing that you are doing things um the things that you're doing they're basically looking at you now and um you know going hmm, hmm. okay now if i was him in that position i would not have done that okay and that's basically what is happening right now so um sometimes it is good for you people to think before you do anything wrong okay all right so for the extent of this reading please please um, connect with us on um, uh, the extended reading and I want to say thank you to each and every person. Until next time.